Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. Let's go and find Sandra, because in the last episode, we linked up with her downstairs. We found some medical information, and Jack almost caught us being a sneaky snake and trying to get a sample. Okay, so apparently she's near the main elevator, which, okay, that we can find. At least, fairly sure we can find her be this way the way of the mangled man we're just going to keep our uh, submachine gun tightly gripped and if anyone gets in our way we're going to fill them full of lead ah right yeah so she's got to be okay in the main area so going up what could possibly go wrong eh what could possibly go wrong? I mean, the ship hasn't started sinking yet. So, I mean, you know, that's a plus. Jack, Ooh. what do you think? There still may be time. Accept your sins like me and beg for forgiveness. Become one with Ark. Oh, uh, yeah, no. And the gate to paradise will open for you. <laughs> uh... Doctor. Jessifer, I found an escape route. The hangar on deck four. I'll meet you there. Hurry. Okay, I'm on my way. I wonder what that voice meant. Become one with Ark? Paradise? What's he talking about? Doctor. You're... By Ark? No, it's not so. I'm sure everyone's okay. <laughs> yeah, bury your hand in the... Uh, bury your hand? Bury your head in the mushrooms, Jessifer. That's fine. Everything is okay. The world is totally not burning down around us. Jesus. Okay. Um. Yeah, maybe he's just, you know, being delirious for a second. I don't know. Anyway, let's go find Sandra and see if we can get the fuck out of here. Because I've got a bit of a sinking feeling about this ship. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Right, that'll do, donkey. That'll do. I guess we're going... I mean... Where are we going this way? Uh, oh. 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 I mean, I guess we're going the right way because enemies. All right, cool. We'll keep going the the way of the enemies then, because that generally makes sense. Generally. This looks like the hangar that Sandra mentioned. Uh, yeah, I guess. Come on, bozo, get up! I'm going to blast your fucking balls off. There we go. Or at least your arm, anyway. Right. We really don't have a huge amount of health, do we? Ooh. Hey, son. Yeah, that's enough of that. Not on my watch, mister. Well, there's enemies this way, so... Uh, hangar block two... Hmm. Hmm, this area seems okay. I guess. All right, well, let's go downstairs. See what we can find. Maybe we can waste some mutants along the way. I don't know. I wonder if we... Is there a way? No. I was wondering if there's a way of quickly reloading our gun. I don't think there is, you know. What if... Yeah, so, yeah. There doesn't appear to be a quick way of reloading at all. Alright, well, it is what it is. Now oh, we're in the mushroom hall. 
We've got this fucking turd over here. There we go. Blow the cunt in half. There we go. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Uh, magazine. We don't need to go into the magazine, do we? Uh, we have to go that way. So, whereabouts is she then? Uh, maybe she's by that door. Yeah, that door. So let's go back through here. Oh, shit. That means go back up and around. Yeah, okay. I think maybe we've gone wrong somewhere. Hmm. Right, hang on. Let's have a look here. Right. Uh... Yeah, maybe we're meant to be going... Maybe we're meant to be taking the main elevator. I don't know. Is that what she said? That might have been what she said. Let's give that a go. See what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Apart from getting horribly murdered. I don't think we're going to get horribly murdered. We need some optimism in this place. Everyone's so damn negative all the time. Jesus. Right, that'll do. Block C. How do we get down? There we go. Nice bit of blood on our boots. Because why the fuck not? Right, that's locked. So we need to go through here, then down, then through. Got ya. I think we're making progress. I think. So let's go down here. I'm guessing there might be zombies down here. Can't hear them though. Alright. I wish those ladder transitions were faster, but I guess. You know, it is what it is, I suppose. Okay, cool. Back outside. Now, where the. He uh, that's the wrong door. Um. It's the wrong door. Jessica, you fool. Uh, we need to go through here. Ah, oh, oh, I saw his toes. I, yep, I can see his toes. I see you. Run. Yeah, get fucked. I'm not falling for your BS, sir. Although I am fumbling with the buttons, so... Yeah, we're tearing through this ammo a little bit. Oh, shit me. Hey, sir. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Not sure what the shit happened there, but fine. Uh, we need to go to the main elevator, which is this way. Wait a minute. Why? Uh, nope, we were going the right way. We want to go this way, yeah. If we go into the main elevator anyway. That's the one. We got there in the end, guys. We got there in the end. It was painful. It was slow. And I was retarded, but we got there in the end. Okay. We're going to drop a save. I... And we're going to save it here. Yes. Cool. And I'm going to go through here. Is that the main? Yeah, that's the main one. Now, let's see if this was actually the right thing to do. Uh, yeah, I guess it was. Wait, we can't get through. There's no power. I'll turn on the emergency power supply. Okay. Sandra, it's too dangerous to go alone. Let me go with you. It's okay. Don't worry. Rather than worrying about me, you should figure out how to prevent the mutants from getting in here. If they come this far, there'll be no way to get out. Oh. Uh, Got it. Okay. I won't let even one of them come close. 
I wouldn't expect anything less from Lieutenant Manning. I'm going then. Uh. Okay. This bad dream will be over soon. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad dream. Bad video game, but not a bad dream. Well, is it a bad game? No, I think it's more of a product of the time. Uh, okay. So, what do we do then? Oh. I'm coming to help you. Lower the elevator. Uh, thanks, but I'm done with bad dreams. It's over. What are you doing? Stop! Lower the elevator. Thanks for coming back for me. Bye, Jessica. Sandra! Uh, who read this drivel? <sighs> uh, well, I mean, I guess... She's gone. So, you know, kind of. <laughs> There's a lot happened there, really, didn't it? She fucks off. Um, claims that the mutants are invincible, even though we can kill them in about three bullets. And that's being generous. And gets horribly murdered. Well, so long, Sandra. It was a pleasure doing something with you all right so where the fuck are we now oh i remember this place how do we get ah right how do we get out of here ah got ya oof oh how cool now look at that a little bit of variety in the environment in the environments with some wildlife on a dead dude's hand that's that is a cool creepy little uh nod a bit of nice game design there hmm. right oh right see sandra if you're looking from heaven or hell or wherever the fuck you are this is how you waste mutants. I don't know how the hell you were trying to fight these mu muties, but we don't really have much trouble. Um, right, okay. In fact, this bloody submachine gun in a couple of bullets seems to blow them in half. Quite readily. Even the handgun's pretty good at eviscerating these things. Okay. Right, hang up, block B. So where are we now? Okay. Ah, oh, I remember this one. Yes, let me guess, that's empty. Of course it is. Why did I think there would be anything useful in there at all? Uh, any goodies in here? No, I guess not. Alright then. Well, I guess we're gonna, just going to follow through. God damn. Yep. Alright, how's it going? Hang on, block A. Oh, fuck. Hello, sir. Get fucked. Right, where are we now? Okay. Damn, these things are really taking over the ship. Alright. Let's keep going. Keep going through this plant room. Okay. But they Jack and I will get out as soon as the explosives to start the flooding are detonated. But no buts. We're getting the hell out of here. We'll leave on the transport plane that's waiting on the flight deck. All right. I'll go.
go ahead, but be careful, Colonel. You too. I never thought I'd be sinking one of our own ships. Yeah, well. Sink the Heimdall? I never imagined that we would do such a thing. There's no time left. I have to get to topside and contact the Olympus. Still doing that? Still doing going for that angle, are we? Well, okay. Ah, save spot. Let me guess. Is this going to be like the last save spot in the game? Uh, right. Oh, maybe. I have no idea. Right, so I guess the shit's about to hit the fan. What used to be one of the crew members? Well, you're a woman of uh, very few words, I guess. You know, her outfit is almost reminding me a little bit. Oh, God. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. Jesus. Hey, you can have some more. Ooh. Are you dead or are you just. Have you got a friend around here? Well, we're chewing through this sub ammo, but that's fine. Right. Okay. I mean, I guess if we're coming up to the end of the... G oh, fuck. Um, right, back off. Back the fuck off. Right, let's chew these guys up. One down. Oh, motherfucker's melting. Right, that'll do. How many rounds have we got? 13. Yeah, I mean, by the time these goggles actually clear, chances are you're, you're dead anyway. Fuck the headshots. Aim for the chest. Another magazine drained. I mean, how can you even see through that? I don't get the whole goggle idea. I mean, I get it, but it's kind of shit, really. Right, where are we? We've still got zomboids. There's one. Hey, friend. And also, aiming for the head doesn't really seem to do an awful amount uh, of extra damage. If any, to be 100% honest with you. Right, so... Oof, this is like the main bulkhead area. What's through here? What's that? Sensor is damaged. Well, that's a load of old shit. Let's keep plodding on. Was that... No, it was not a door. I thought that was a door. Oof, what have we got? Pilot prep room, hangar bay. Well, I guess we're going to the pilot prep room. That we can do. <laughs> Hopefully there's something good in here, though. Ooh. Pilot prep. Oh, I remember the pilot prep room. I guess there's stuff in here. All right, ready, just fuck. Aim! It's also pretty hard, to be honest, to aim at their heads. Right, let's switch up to the gadget. Now, if I was a zombie piece of shit, where would I be? There, I guess. I'll do. I guess. Oh! There's a gentleman just walking into the wall there. That's fine. Alright, now, you got anything for me? Nope. What about you? Nope. Really? Nothing whatsoever. Uh. Right. Won't open. 
Will any of these open? Nothing useful inside. That's bullshit. I guess there's nothing in here. That's a shame. Okay, well, moving on. Right. And one second, guys. Right, okay, cool. Um, so we can go this way. Right, what have we got going on here? Pilot prep room. Apparently we're still in the pilot prep room. Just curious. Well, we're going to keep exploring. Ooh. Got like butterflies all over him. Curious. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe not. Let's go back the way we came. See, it's a shame, like, you know, you've got all these butterflies, and there's grubs, and there's some interesting imagery in this game, but you, you only really get it for one room, and then that's that. Such a shame. I feel like there's a lot of wasted potential in this game, sadly. Right, another save room. Oh, magazine. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Empty. Bullshit! T7s. Damn, fuck your T7s. I don't want a T7. Really, is that... No, that can't be it. Can't be it. There's got to be more. Three T9... What's the... Like, T9 bombs. They're pointless. They're pointless. Give me some goods. Give me some goods. Give me some goods. Actually, I wonder... Yeah. Because we actually found those uh, in our first playthrough, if memory serves. Objects. Interesting. So does that mean there's going to be nothing in any of these? Weapon storage locker. Because if so, that's kind of shitty. Really? Well, this was a crap weapon storage locker. We literally got some fucking explosives that are useless. And we got some uh, health drinks, which are not quite so useless. But still, it's not much, is it? Okay, also feel like we're in a dead end. All right. Oh, well, I guess we're going to go back the way we came. That was a crap magazine. Magazines are usually like the one oasis of hope in this game. You know, they, they add a little bit of excitement because you're like, ooh, I'm going to get some bloody gear. But not in this one, I guess. That was very disappointing. But then, I, you know, we, we got some health, I suppose. So health is useful. Oh, it actually says magazine there as well, so... Okay, just about could make out what that sign said. Alright, where are we at now? Oh, fuck. Oh, that was not good. That was really not good. That was fucking amateur hour right there. Am I even hitting any of these guys? Guess so. Hitting them now. Oh man, amateur hour. Jesus. Alright, we'll drink that one down, I guess. Yeah, you're fucked now. So are you. Okay, I think we're good. Right. Anything through here? Oh man. A sweet, sweet FA here, I guess. 
Oh no, we can actually go through here. Interesting. Oh, we're back outside. Oh, nice. The ship. The Colonel and Jack must have succeeded with the detonation. Yeah, I guess so. Right, let's get out of here. Shit. Um... Uh, well, I guess we're going to go up this ladder? Question mark? All right. Damn, it feels like forever since we've actually been outside. Well, I mean, technically it's been a few weeks. These guys might only have been here for, you know, one single horrific night. But I've been playing this game for weeks. And, you know, it's been fun to finally play the game. After hearing so much about it. Alright. Uh, wait, hang on. Okay. Is that where we're going? I guess so. It's got to be a radio tower in here somewhere, right? Surely. Uh, navi ah, navigation deck. That seems about right. I feel like he's been shot. Oof. Okay. Level 2 energy drink. Not bad. Any other goodies around? Yeah, I guess not. Okay, so where can we... Ship is on automatic pilot and the controls are not responding. Alright, so where is navigation controls? Automatic pilot. Captain's chair. Yes, the captain's not actually at his chair. Yes, we know that's the captain's chair. Ah, there seems to be a nuclear sub nearby. Um, yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Guess there's nothing we can do here. There is another way down, so maybe there's more stuff we can do. Right. And I need to sneeze. Yeah. Ah, that's better. Jesus. Okay. Oh, yeah, look. Hello. Here we go. We've got another room here. Ah, what's down here? Nothing, I guess. You must be Captain McGregor. Oh, we haven't seen him yet, have we? Yes, I'm the captain. <laughs> so you're okay. I'm glad. I'm Lieutenant Jennifer Manning from the Information Division, sent to investigate the accident. Information Department? Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, he looks fine. Exactly what happened here? What? Oh, nothing you need to worry about. It's just the beginning of a new era. Uh. The Earth will soon become a paradise. Huh? Captain, are you okay? Did you say something? <laughs> yes, he did. He's just talking to him. Ooh. The fuck nuggets? Uh, you know what? Ow. Can we get... Uh, you know what? Ah, oh, buster. There we go. I guess this guy's the boss. <laughs> or is he? He's just... Blasted him into a billion pieces. This is Heimdall. Olympus, do you copy? Olympus, can you hear me? Please respond. Olympus here. Who is this? This is Information Department Lieutenant Manning. <laughs> Good, Lieutenant. Good to hear from you. All survivors from the ship should on the flight deck. And by order of head of the Spark Team, Colonel Aaron Burke, we must sink the Heimdall. I will provide what? a detailed report when I return. We're in a state of emergency. Olympus, quickly approach the Heimdall to evacuate survivors. Roger. We'll approach immediately. We'll 
Help survivors from the flight deck into the water. Damn, they're gone. Okay, uh, Captain. Captain, oh, Captain. It will reach North America in two days. Okay, so we're not exactly in an immediate rush then. Uh, right, so now we've had our little chin wag with them. There's nothing in here. Nothing in here at all. No health items or anything. Now, we're at the half an hour mark, but I have a feeling that we're really close to the end of the game. Um, hmm. Could have sworn. I saw a health drink or something in here. I just want I did. Really? Am I getting confused with the other room? Yeah, well, I mean, okay. I guess there ain't a health drink there. Right, let's go up and then back down onto the flight deck, I suppose. Although this ship is absolutely destination fucked right now. Right, let's go. Come on, Manning. I mean, we've just blasted the captain and cap captain captain into next week, which was quite fun. Uh, I'm guessing there's more, because I I don't know, man. I don't think the captain's dead, but then nah, I don't know. Well, we'll see. So I'm assuming we're just going to go down here now and evacuate. That's what I'm... That's what it's feeling like. I mean, the captain was a weird one. He was still... You know, conscious. Is there anything in here? Nah, it doesn't look like it. He still had all of his, uh, you know, marbles, more or less. But he did have a nice uh, tyrant... Ooh. He did have a nice tyrant-style heart. Which was cool. I uh, guess that was the captain. Sergeant Ingalls, you all right? Yes. The detonation was successful. I'm headed to flight deck. Good. Colonel Burke is with you? No. I'm afraid the colonel didn't make it. What? The colonel too? I'm sorry. No, it's not your fault. And me, I wasn't able to do anything. Lieutenant. We don't have much time. Let's get out of here. The Olympus is nearby. I'll escape on that. You should come with. No, I'll head for the flight deck. Captain Lang is preparing a transport waiting for you. I see. Then be careful. With a little luck, I'll see you later at the base. Uh gotcha. But be careful, Lieutenant. Oof. The fuck? It'll be over soon. Ooh. Hey, buddy. I guess that's the captain. Oof. Right, well. I mean, let's give him all of this. Uh. Ah. <laughs> oh, Olympus. come on. What the hell? Oh, right. Here's me thinking she's kicking a death charge off or something. God, it's the whole action replay camera. Well, I mean, I'm glad you can just dislodge one of those bloody um, escape pods by kicking it. Maybe it's because of our thunderous thighs. Let's go. 
road ahead. Bring it in immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Who's dead? Good to hear from you. Thanks. I will provide a detailed report when I return. I have to get the data I received from the doctor back to headquarters as soon as possible. Roger. Well, I mean, I, uh, I guess that's the end. Wow, she's like bandaged up everywhere. Wow, what a nightmare. Oh, I was relieved to be rescued by the Olympus. I will soon be checked out. Uh, the base hospital. You sure? I will write about the incident as I remember it. What is Ark? After what I experienced on the Heimdall, Ark is without a doubt a major threat to humanity. However, as mentioned in Dr. Noble's report, if Ark is actually the preserver of the original ecological system of the Earth, then maybe we can say that Ark is in fact playing out the role of the creator. Yeah. Also, if the role of Ark is to provide equal opportunity for all normal life forms, could it possibly could it be possible that Ark targeted humans because humans had turned their back on the creator? I have the feeling that we must once again take a look at our past and think about the path we will choose in the future. Let's take this moment of silence to remember those who lost their lives. 20, 23, April 9th. Well, I guess that's the Ark cell. Is that inside her? Yeah, it's a very impressive game, but... Huh. Well, well, well. That was something. I mean, I'm glad that I've finally... been able to play it. Uh... It was certainly an experience. I don't think I will probably ever play it again. I think if I played this back in the day, I, I'm not sure. I'm in two minds. I don't know whether I would have been... I would have got bored of this game. Because it's so similar, you know? And... It's just not interesting in the way that Resident Evil and Silent Hill is. Resident Evil and Silent Hill have some real decent, solid progression. Even the originals. This never really seemed to go anywhere. Um, you turn up. Ships, you know, full of fucking monsters. You find out that Ark's a thing that's a possible god and protector of the planet, Gaia. And then you escape. You know, none of the characters are that interesting at all. The weapons are just boring. Like, incredibly boring. The bosses... Uh, the bosses were just so weak. Weak and just... I mean... <laughs> oh yeah, let's just not gloss over the fact that we defeated the final boss in four shots. Like... I, uh, I've been saving that grenade launcher thinking, here we go. The final boss, he's, he's going to be some boy. Unlike some of the other bosses, he didn't even have a health bar, did he? Ah, oh, dude. I mean, Jessifer's campaign was very short, which I'm actually glad, you know. Um, I'm glad it didn't drag on to... to too much because I must admit as much as I have enjoyed recording this game 
and I'm glad I've done it. I'm glad it's uploaded now and it's archived forevermore. But I must admit, I was starting to lose interest. Um, around about the time we took over Jessifer, and it's not because of Jessifer. It, it was just because of the game in general. It's just, it's so similar. It's so uninteresting which goes for all of the um the environments you know they could have actually done a lot more with the ship as we've seen um they could have had different biomes in the ship they could have we could have gone through an actual proper aircraft carriers with with you know some aircraft stationed there we could have had um, more computer rooms you know it's just <sighs> Even they could have done the mushroom and biome, you know, um, organic biomes a little bit more justice. Um, you know, had a few more of those around. But it was just grey metal corridors. And yeah, I get it. You're on a ship. Um, but for the sake of it being a video game, they could have done a lot more. I mean, just look at um, the last game we played. I can't even remember what that was called now. Cold Fear, that had a lot of interesting mechanics, you know, and I think this game's aged fairly poorly, um, just because of how kind of stale the game was, it just, it wasn't bad, it just didn't do anything interesting, even for the time, you know, the, the voice acting was utter trash, but it wasn't entertainingly bad like the uh, uh, original Resident Evils. At least the original Resident Evils had, um, you know, some entertainment value to the cheesy acting. But there was something more endearing with Resident Evil as well. These characters really were like a proper blank uh, slate. And there was no horror. You know, I remember being a kid. I was absolutely terrified. Of Resident Evil uh, and just that atmosphere that you're trapped in this mansion and you know it's ooh, scary and all that kind of shit. And I remember that to this day, but th there was no horror um, aspect to this game. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that the music, uh, the sound design was just awful. Um, the soundtrack was complete garbage. The goggles were just a joke. I don't even know why they were in the game, apart from the fact that they showed, um, you know, invisible enemies, which didn't really matter that much anyway, because you could hear them uh, for the most part. The snails, you couldn't. But you could hear the majority of the invisible enemies anyway. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, man. Maybe my my opinion of this game might have been different if I played it back in the game, but I don't think I I don't think it would have been because only a year after this, Resident Evil Code Veronica dropped, and what a quantum leap! You know, this game. I think the main takeaway is this game had absolutely no atmosphere to it whatsoever. Um, interesting setting, but totally let down, and the enemies were so generic as well. The enemies were useless in this game. Uh, those big giant monster things that look like um, something out of Dead Space. Those xenomorph type things. No, not xenomorphs. Uh, necromorph type things. They're just, they were rubbish. You know, half the time they wouldn't even attack you. Um, and even when they did attack you, sometimes their hits didn't register. And you can just kill them in like four bullets anyway. So, oh. And the less said about that final boss, the better. I really was saving up all of my good stuff for that. And I was like, right, as soon as the final boss spawns, we're going to hit him with everything we've got. And I was I was worried about not having enough health items. But in the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> Motherfucker didn't even get close to us. So, oh, I don't know. Interesting game. Interesting piece of history. But I can absolutely see why it's been forgotten. Uh, by the sands of time, because, you know, when you put this up to other survival horror games of its time, uh, let's say um, Project Zero, for instance, Resident Evil, um, Silent Hill, it's not even in the same league. It really isn't. 
But as an interesting oddity on the Dreamcast, I think it is worth a playthrough. So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.